there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and children. The woodcutter earned his livelihood by selling bundles of wood in the village marketplace. One warm day, he was felling wood near the river bank. <laughs> Suddenly, the axe slipped from his sweaty hands and fell down into the river. The water was swift and deep. There was no way of getting his axe out. The woodcutter sat on the bank and began to weep. Rising out of the water, the river goddess appeared before him. She asked the reason for his tears. The woodcutter told his sad tale. The river goddess agreed to help him. Gracefully sinking back into the water, she then arose with a gleaming silver axe. The woodcutter refused to take it. She returned with a beautiful golden axe this time. The woodcutter was steadfast. He refused it. The river goddess finally brought forth an old iron axe. The woodcutter gladly recognized his axe and gratefully accepted it with thanks. The goddess was impressed by the woodcutter's honesty and gave him both the silver and the golden axes. Overjoyed, the woodcutter hurried home to show his family the amazing silver and gold axes and to tell his miraculous story. Soon, throughout the village, news of the poor woodcutter's good fortune spread. His neighbor came over to admire the precious gold and silver axes. Jealousy overcame him. He too wanted to be rich. So the next day, the greedy neighbor rushed to the river bank. Instead of chopping firewood, he immediately threw his ordinary iron axe into the river. Then he sat down and waited for the river goddess. Sure enough, the goddess appeared and asked the reason for his tears. The neighbor said that his axe had fallen into the river. The goddess agreed to help him. She rose before him, holding a golden axe in her hand. Is this your axe? Asked the goddess. The neighbor looked at the shining golden axe and thought, how wonderful it would be to sell this and become a wealthy man. He greedily nodded and said, yes, 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 that is my axe. The river goddess was not pleased with this answer and knew he was not telling the truth. She scolded him. You are telling a lie and you do not deserve my help. You must find your own axe. She then disappeared beneath the water, leaving the greedy man repentant for having told a lie. The woodcutter and his family sold the silver and the golden axes in the marketplace and started their own furniture shop. 
and they lived in comfort happily ever after. Honesty is the best policy. <laughs>